4,830 pounds. The old popular 246 Freedom Express Coachman here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. There's been a lot of different brands that have tried to knock off this floor plan. And it continues, Coachman's version continues to be the most popular. So the big question is why? And uh, that's, that's what I want to answer here in this video. That question of not what, but why. Um, if you would like to learn more about this, there's a link in our video description that says check for price and availability. You're one click away from seeing what we have in stock, how it is equipped, and what we're asking. Because we publish fair market pricing here at Halo RV. We put all that right out where you can see it. Uh, we don't do hidden dealer fees. We don't engage in that it's a despicable practice at Halo RV. We put our cards on the table. If you're looking for simple, easy, fun, you want to put the R back in RV, recreation, congratulations. My family's dealership, we're here, ready, willing, and able to assist you. So in that big pass-through storage compartment you saw up front, you may have noticed that white thing at the top of the compartment. This comes with its own two foot by four foot outdoor picnic table. That's just something that they do on these, standard. It's not an option, they just included that. They started doing that around their 50th anniversary edition and it went over so well, they said, you know, we should do that. And it's since been utilized by other brands like the White Hawks by Jayco that we carry here at Halet RV. Um, they had, you can option that into them. Some of their hummingbirds have that, but this is where it started. Now that the look of this thing, these old dogs recently learned some new tricks. I mean, Coachman's been around for more than 50 consecutive years. They're one of the oldest standing manufacturers of RVs. At this point, they might be old, uh, the oldest. Skyline was the only one I knew that was any older than that, and they've, they're no longer. So these guys might now be the, the, the elder of the business. They got a lot of experience, but they understand things. They've learned all these years, like storage. That 42 cubic foot front storage compartment that you saw up there. It's massive. And you see big front storage in a lot of ultralights now. You can thank Freedom Express for it. This is one of the most influential lightweights on the market. Um, power awning with full LED lighting. You can tilt the awning, power tongue jack. A lot of brands have that. So I'm not going to spend time talking about that. Things like uh, how they flip the propane and the battery as compared to how they were done in the past. A lot of brands do that now, but again, Freedom Express, they're the ones that influence that so that dry campers, boondockers, you can throw extra batteries on here. That tongue-mounted spare tire, though, that's something you don't see done very often. Why, why do they do that? Well, short answer is uh, <laughs> because it's smarter. Because it keeps the rear bumper open for people who want to add things like bike racks. It also helps with load equalization because weight in the front tracks better behind your vehicle than weight in the back. Now, uh, you see this gorgeous, I love the look of this thing. This I call this Ken's Rolling Malibu Beach House. This has just an ocean breeze decor inside and out that I am, I'm personally a fan of. Um, I don't have my power box on quite yet, but there are LED accent lights on the front uh, just to help this thing look great. Uh, by the way, cool little trick if you're ever curious. Take like a, a 20 amp fuse and, uh, oh, where's my, where's my plug on here? I should have prepared for this. Anyway, the top two, um, it's, uh, it's tucked under there. Crap, sorry guys. The, uh, the top two, think here, I can show you in this one. The top two ports on this plug. And you know the top because the flat spot. If you uh, shove like a 20 amp fuse across those top two jumpers right there, you can light up your exterior marker lights at a campsite. Now understand, if you've got neighbors within close proximity door to door, don't do that. They're not gonna like the light shining in their windows. But if you're off on your own, light it up. You're gonna love it, it looks cool. So you may have noticed your baggage door on the other side flipped all the way up. That's because we are magnetically latched here on a Freedom Express at Halet RV. Again, they're not the only ones that do that, but it's an awesome feature. So I wanna talk about it because not everybody does it. Full outside shower, not just a cold water sprayer port. They have rotocast tanks here that are seamless, so they're stronger, but uh, they also have a um, uh, black tank flush there. So you can flush that thing out. Um, because rotocast tanks, the one thing they're not good at is uh, always getting flushed out completely. So they let you fix that here. Wide stance stability axles. Again, Freedom, not necessarily the first or only to do it, but one of the most prolific users of it. And uh, they do this as it is appropriate to different models. They don't do it across the board because a short little camper, it would actually potentially be detrimental to towing. So they actually do the thought process and the research to make sure that this fits your tow vehicle. And where that is nice is especially on shorter wheel based tow vehicles because at only 4,800 whatever pounds, this is very potentially SUV towable. Trick is with short wheelbase SUVs that are more and more popular and they keep putting tow package on smaller and smaller cars that um, 
a, a trailer can tend to shove you around. Well, that wide stance stability axle system, it gives you uh, basically a, a, the effective towing of a shorter trailer. It won't twist as much, it won't wiggle and shake as much, it won't sway. Um, it won't bounce as much. It's a load equalizing axle system and it's awesome. Talk to RV delivery drivers and they always say, I like hauling these freedoms. I like hauling the passports. I like hauling the White Hawks because they have those things. And I'll tell you, I'm not disappointed that we carry every one of those brands I just mentioned here at Halet RV. So uh, let's talk construction. We've got all aluminum framework uh, with the exception of the roof, which actually still has aluminum perimeter. Uh, but it does have a, a stick built roof and that seems like an interesting thing. Not a lot of brands do a hybrid roof construction like that. So why does Freedom Express do it? And uh, the answer is because it's really inspired actually. Um, wood trusses and 3 8 full walk on roof decking. This has a fully walkable roof. They're very strong. It's very strong. It's proven. It's effective. Um, wood is a great insulator and your roof is one of the uh, most important areas to insulate in an RV. Whether it's hot or cold, that matters. Um, the uh, reason they use an aluminum perimeter is because with your sidewalls being laminated and fully aluminum framed, it gives you a flat to flat surface for a better merger and better construction, uh, as opposed to a, a, a wood perimeter roof, which generally is going to be fine. It's not that that's bad. It's just that it could be a little more uneven due to the nature of wood and wood greens. So now you don't have that problem. Um, the, uh, again, uh, structure's all uh, laminated. We've got aluminum skeleton. Your sidewalls are uh, Asdell paneled. Asdell is an amazing material. That's a whole video in and of itself. Suffice to say, it's what keeps this RV um, at only 4,800 pounds, despite the fact that this is an extra tall ultralight on the inside. That is an interesting combination of features that absolutely separates Freedom Express to give them a completely unique identity. This is six foot tall across the entirety of the interior of the RV. Not six and a half foot with an arch, because when you stand in a shower, which is always on the corner and the side of a trailer, that arch doesn't do very much for you. But a six foot nine interior always does. A taller wall means taller slides, taller cabinets, taller shower. If this was a bunk model, it'd be taller. It matters. Now, um, the uh, grill, let's look at the grill here. I love this. Instead of, we've done some uh, inquiring to some of our, our very good recurring customers. And we've noticed a few of them have traded in RVs with the old uh, bumper mounted RVQ grill that connects to a low pressure gas system, um, never even used, still in the box, right where we left it when we quality checked it for them before they left here. Because again, we don't charge extra fees at Halitz, we check stuff for you before it leaves. And I uh, said, why? Why aren't you using it? And they say, because it, it sucks. You know, it blows out too easy, it doesn't cook, it doesn't heat evenly. And a lot of people say, I like to go get one of those little Coleman Cant grills because I can stow it anywhere. It's lightweight, I can get gas bottles anywhere, you know? Well, that's what Coachman does. So again, these old dogs with all their years of 50 plus years of experience, they're ahead of the curve again. This is one of the products that, more than almost anything else, is designed for the end user. Now, it's got a lot of fun things for me to talk about. I can yammer on and on and on. I've already gone on eight and a half minutes about this thing, we're not even inside yet. I love this camper, but it's, it's built for you. It's built for the person who owns it. The, the locations of the, uh, like your, your hookups on the outside being centralized, that the grill, the pass-through storage, the um, uh, white nose cap to help keep the heat off the, the front bedroom there. Uh, so many things on this. They are designed for the end user. That big honking awning with full LED lighting and whatnot. It is designed for the person who buys it, not for the person who sells it. And that's one of the most respected just the things that I respect most about a Freedom Express. We haven't even talked about the inside yet. Let's take a look. Light, bright, crisp, and clean. Those are the things you'd call the interior of the 246 Coachman here at Halitz. Um, like I said, a lot of different brands have tried to knock off this uh, floor plan. No one has been as successful with it as Coachman has been. A lot of little reasons why. Um, I, it's little stuff like this. Like You see how really the kitchen kind of continues within the slide out. At first glance, a lot of people want to look at this kitchen and where the slide flange starts, that darker wood right there, it's where your eyes tend to stop. But when you when you back up a little bit, you notice that kitchen drawers, a whole pantry, it's actually all located within the slide out. And that's one of the smartest things that they did here on the Freedom Express. They're, the way that they handled the slide out is what makes this floor plan so successful. Now when you look down, you'll notice no carpet. 
That's another thing that's made this really popular. It's completely carpetless. It's easy cleaning. It's easy to manage. You don't have to spend time, you know, uh, sweeping stuff up. You just dust it off, swiffer up, all done here. Um, the uh, other thing that makes this floor plan really popular is, well, you'll see more of it as we turn around, but it's basically fully functional with the slide closed. You can still pretty much navigate the entire RV. You can access everything with the slide out closed. Now, um, the uh, kitchen over here, a couple key points. Whether it's these little side stands, whether it's the primary dining table, whether it's your main countertop, everything on this has a sealed edge. It's called thermal foil countertops. Um, there's no area that water can get in here and you know penetrate and cause soft spots or swelling. Now another upgraded fixture you're going to see right here is the American Stone Cast Sink. It's not plastic. It's it's got this real hard shell coating on it basically. Um, that uh, it's rated up to 500 degrees. You can hit this thing with like 500 degree stuff. But you'd have to pretty much cook it with a blowtorch to get it to fail. I don't know about you. But I've never found the need to apply a blowtorch to my kitchen sink, and I'm pretty sure you won't either. My point is it's it's going to last. It's not going to fall apart, and it can't rust, you know? Um, there are, I, I use the word stainless in air quotes right here. There are real stainless sinks in this business, and then there are, quote, stainless. And God forbid you, you dent them or scuff the abrasive surface, or you, you uh, damage the surface whatsoever of those things, they fail. You know, they will start to rust. Now, little touches too, like the stovetop, it just looks space age and awesome, but it's recessed to give you more counter space. And those little blue lights right there, it's not much right now, but at night, it's the perfect little night light to be able to see around here. Now, this, the, the coup de gras on the Freedom Express 246 kitchen here at Halitz is what I lovingly refer to as the utensil drawer. It is for all your fork, spoons, knives, utensils, etc. You know, you've got long pockets for like big spatulas and spoons and whatnot. And it wraps seamlessly around the kitchen sink. It is such a smart use of space, it's not even funny. And what's great, it's just like that grill outside is portable. If you want to take this off, you want to take this somewhere, it's portable. You can put it anywhere, everywhere you want it. It's just, it's just smarter, guys. Um... I should open one of these drawers and show you too. All plywood box constructed drawers, not press board with a sticker wrap, and they are sanding off and finishing the uh, the edges of these boxes so it's not a splinter factory necessarily. That's something I've been talking a lot about lately, and I'd never really talked about it before. And when I started looking around, I was actually really amazed how many towable products they perform that extra little function. And what surprised me is how many motorized products where you would expect to see maybe a higher level of craftsmanship they weren't doing that. So it's something that I've kind of adopted into my regimen here. So if you start paying attention, this slide out starts with that cabinet and actually goes all the way down um, to the that end vertical closet. If you watch the slide flange, the darker wood, you can see this is actually a full long super slide. Now it's not a deep slide, but it doesn't need to be. It's where it needs to be. You've got dual uh, like closet pantry things on both sides of this fold down uh, bifold sleeper sofa that also, you notice those side stands uh, by each side of that sofa form the perfect little armrests. And again, they're waterproof, so if you have a drink on there that bleeds a little bit or sweats, no big deal, no big whoop, guys. Um, that uh, center armrest on the sofa here, uh, that's something that can fold up down, kind of like the back seat of your uh, half-ton pickup if you got a quad cab or whatever your brand calls it. And again, place to kind of just put drinks. Now, what's neat is this forms like a, a, a faux theater seat. Now, uh, the uh, the check-in crew got to this camper before I could get to it. This comes with a TV that mounts against the wall. And you notice what's kind of cool about this is you get to see the swing-out mount. So that TV can focus to face the slide-out seating. It can face the kitchen. It's very user camp friendly. Now, one of the first things I should have talked about when I got in here, and I, I touched on it outside, but it's the exterior height. This is a six foot nine exterior or interior height. Not six and a half foot, not six and a half foot with a vaulted ceiling. It's just straight taller. Now notice how that slide out goes all the way up to the ceiling. That extra interior height gives us a taller slide out. It gives it more headroom. It gives it taller cabinets. It just gives it more of everything. And they offset the extra weight that that would accomplish with the Asdell that we already described. Now remember, we're looking at waterproof tops, including this tabletop. 
And that table, you can kind of scoot around. It's on a uh, free-floating elliptical base. So you can fold this dinette down into a sleeper. You can, uh, if you wanted to, you could take it outside. Though with the outdoor picnic table included on a Freedom Express, you're probably not going to need to. Um, big window right here, too. This is an area that I think the Freedom Express 246 is doing well in comparison to a lot of other brands. Big, giant window on the camp side of the camper. Now, there's not storage below that side of the dinette. You've actually got your furnace right there. But there is some storage below this side of the dinette right here. I just want to make sure I point out where you have it, where you don't, so that you understand. Um, closet. Time to look at the closet. Now, when this slide out is closed, the slide here will come almost up to the wall. But because they left this open sort of seating bench, this is a perfect place, by the way, if you want to sit down and put a pair of shoes. It's the grandkid slash husband timeout seat. In my house, anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Um, it, if my grandma comes over, I'm the grandson. If my wife's home, then I'm the husband. Anyway, you get the point. So... Because they left this recessed back, instead of building the construction of the closet all the way forward, you can snake around this little corner here to get up to your bedroom, even when the slide-out is closed. Now, the uh, extra space here, this is just generic storage, anything, everything you want it to be space. There's additional uh, cabinet space below that they have segregated. So if you want to have like a little shoe cabinet or something like that, you can do all that. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry, by the way. It's not stapled because they use actual lumber core cabinet styles. You can't use screws in particle board. Uh, you can you can you can only use staples. That's just the only thing you can do. Uh, when you have pocket screwed cabinetry, you know that inherently you're looking at more high quality construction within the cabinet itself. Now I'm at kind of a funny angle here, so I don't know how it's translating to video. But another thing on the Freedom Express, they're not only taller, the beds are longer. This is a full 80 inch residential size queen bed. You've got um, full hanging wardrobes on both sides. You've got dual LED element blue and white lights above your bed there. You have a full overhead uh, storage compartment instead of just a shelf. A um, couple years ago, they, they put a skylight in the bedroom up here for extra airflow. And even though this doesn't have a hard door that closes off this bedroom, which is a really big time customer preferred feature, people still feel this bedroom is private enough. And I think it's because of this extra stand slash uh, closet. It defines where the living room stops and the bedroom starts. And people inherently know, don't go beyond here. There'll be monsters after this point, matey. You know, people won't go past this point because they understand that is your bedroom, your private space. We're going to stay out of there. We're going to let you do your thing. Now, both sides of the bed, they do have both USB plugs and household outlets against those bed bases. So CPAP users, you will, you will sleep well at night. You won't die in a Freedom Express. Um, the bathroom here, this bathroom arrangement has become very popular from a lot of brands. You see that porcelain foot flush stool there. I love the big cabinet below the sink on this. And notice, too, that they offset the sink. They didn't centralize the sink so that you actually have a place to set stuff down, whether it's a toothbrush, a comb, anything next to the sink. They gave you space for it. Handy little towel hanging, dry and rack. And they uh, remember, extra tall shower. Because we have a taller ceiling, we have a taller shower. You have more headroom in the shower than a traditional ultralight with a vaulted ceiling. Not that they don't, uh, they might provide enough for you, but this is my personal preference as a person who's more than six foot tall. Easy split open shower too means you don't have that big step up and you don't have to walk backwards out of the bathroom. Um, <laughs> she's a winner. I, I probably didn't even have to uh, go this in depth with the video. I probably didn't have to because this is so popular. It really doesn't need a lot of help selling because they have made this floor plan sell itself. It is awesome. Whether it's the taller kitchen cabinets, the waterproof stuff, the upgraded sink fixture, the utensil drawer, it is loaded. And I guess from a uh, ability standpoint, we're loaded as a dealer because we only do everything. Whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between, Haywood RV does it all. We put the R back in RVing. Recreation, guys. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everybody.